Bullfrog at Mongolia Circle by Deborah Nenard. Illustrated by Kristen Kest. About the Bullfrog, Glossary, Points of Interest in the Book. Reading Bullfrog at Mongolia Circle, as I read this story, think about what adaptions help a bullfrog survive, where he lives, the life cycle of a bullfrog, the predators and prey of bullfrog, the behaviors of bullfrog, and the physical attributes of bullfrog. Lightning zigzags through the early evening sky, over the bayou, waters that slowly wind their way behind the white wooden house on Mongolia Circle. Thunder rumbles in the distance, the croaking of bullfrog, and the peeps and sounds of the other frogs fill the air. In midwinter, Bullfrog emerges from his muddy winter retreat and silently waited for the warmth and rain of spring. Now in April, his throat yellow and bulging, he sings a sound like brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
the loud noise startles both bullfrog and the heron. Squawking a loud complaint, the heron takes to the air, leaving the bullfrog behind unharmed. The bullfrog, startled by the departing heron, leaps into the water, but soon returns to the shore. He hears the clicking sounds of southern cricket frogs in the grass. One of the little frog jumps. It lands just in front of bullfrog. In less than a second, it is in bullfrog's mouth. From the booming croaks all around, Bullfrog knows other male bullfrogs are nearby. While calling for his mate, Bullfrog might have to wrestle with one of these males, or he might simply do battle with his deep bass voice, calling and calling. Bullfrog hops back into the water and dives in, landing with a splash. A special layer of skin protects Bullfrog's open eyes so he can see underwater. He swims farther out onto the bayou. Through a cluster of water lilies at the edge of the water lilies, he stops. He has been searching for a special place. This could be it. In this special place, he will attract a female bullfrog by calling her in his deep voice. She will come and deposit her eggs. He rises to the surface, spreads his legs out, and floats effortlessly. His throat bulges. He croaks again and again. Burrop, burrop. The voices of other males join in in a bass chorus, fills the air. Soon with luck, a female will hear Bullfrog and come to him. For now, he will stay close by this spot and call and wait. Think about the story on how bullfrogs survive. Where did he live? In the bayou? 